This is the Liberal Party's document published for the agenda for the last uh, Federal Council meeting and the motion circulated with it. This is the policy, these are the policies for the next government. Now, Mr Speaker, by contrast, by contrast, by contrast, this is the Labor Party's policies. Exactly. On the same, on the same A4 paper, the same A4 paper, which is now published in this book. Order, order. And you can actually read through it. Communications policy, economic policy, social policy. And, and they, and they are cogent, they are sensible. One point rolls from the other. It's in fact the, the policies of a national party of government. It's not the policy, it's not a mishmash of motions for a, a set for of state parties. Now, Mr. Speaker, I haven't seen this document. Mr. Order. Speaker, I haven't seen this document. But the Deputy Prime Minister showed it to me. He said, Have you seen the coalition's, the coalition's uh, Federal Council agenda? And he showed it to me, and I looked through it. And I said, I said Yes, I've seen it. I, I saw it at a Labor Party conference about 1963. <laughs> no, no consistency. There's no, in other words, no framework of policy, no, no, no philosophical binding, no, no, uh, no uh, articulation of a policy after a philosophic introduction, just a whole lot of mishmashed, unconnected motions. And then it goes on another one, to define and limit the operations, listen to this from Western Australia, to Order. define and limit the operations of the external affairs power. And it goes on, Mr Speaker, look how, look how threadbare it is. Look how threadbare it is. This is for a party supposedly heading for government, and all of this is about Commonwealth state relations. Now that's where, Mr Speaker, this whole notion of a constitutional convention comes from. Your incapacity to be a national party. You are not a national party of government. You are a party of six state rumps who send in these un unconnected motions that are cavilling at the Commonwealth's power and Commonwealth's imperatives and prerogatives. And there is no social policy, there is no economic policy. I mean, even, Mr Speaker, I mean, I keep it in the drawer. But even, even the ACME fight back, even ACME fight back, Mr Speaker, had at least some coherence about it. I mean, I've come to love this thing, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. But here we are. Now oh, I know there's some things, you know, that get that get to you after a while. But Mr. Speaker, here it is. This is after you take the agenda off. After you take the agenda off, and we get down to it, Mr. Speaker, to the Federal Council. This is all there is in the policy of the Federal Liberal Party heading to a national election.